as a first time lawyer when you see others charting their own careers and paths it's very satisfying um, not everybody is a second or a generation or a first or a sec third generation uh, lawyer the struggle is much more but the satisfaction is that when you achieve those goals you make a place for yourself under the sun you're not only doing it for yourself but ultimately you want others to follow that path and broaden it so those uh, narrow paths that we had carved out in the 80s have become a highway by now and that is why we have asgs here <laughs> like pinky and like madhavi and and seniors here who are uh, themselves role models and i hope that those youngsters who join your chambers who work under you uh, emulate you and take it further so we when we talk of light to lighten and that was the motto in my school i remember it used to be a light to lighten that is how we carry the candle i think it's imperative that uh, felicitations of this sort be done not just to recognize such of us who have achieved a path but to make others aware what what all they can do and what more can they achieve so this is uh, not a benchmark i would say it's a starting point to much better things and that is why what honorable this uh, cji said of uh, endorsing 50%, 50% of uh, professionals to come on the bench in different categories uh, needs to be emphasized in every which way it is under his leadership that uh, the supreme court has achieved something which was very difficult i can share with you that as a chief justice of a state even recommending half a dozen judges lawyers as judges is a tough task and here these are nine uh, judges at one go that he, under his leadership and his collegium they have done that it is stupendous um, i think there's no history to it that uh, i will uh, when will this benchmark be broken is a big question i would say that so we are very thankful for this opportunity i speak for myself and my colleagues on the dais we hope that we can uh, live up to your expectations and uh, follow the rule of law do justice and give it that sensitivity somehow sometimes that women tend to give to situations looking at it from their perspective and i am not talking from a gender point of view but as a unisex point of view so uh, that kind of um, focus that a woman can have and a and a view on a matter which maybe sometimes doesn't occur to a male and i'm not saying that my male colleagues are not sensitive it is amazing that many of our colleagues which i've sat with will give a different perspective to a woman oriented issue which may not occur to me i'll be the first one to admit it but it's a very heartening thing to see that men are equally sensitive and you are on, on a woman's daughter day talking to a chief justice who has two daughters <laughs> and he really dotes on them i can tell you that so uh, god bless all of you we look forward to meeting more in person i'm so glad it's not virtual how could the emotions <laughs> how could these emotions be expressed on a virtual screen it can only be physical thank you for your daily legal fix like share and subscribe live law